A bit over a month ago, I went to Edinburgh, Scotland to meet with uh, two of my friends, Amy Palco from the Meaningful Stitch channel, who lives in uh, Edinburgh, and uh, Jackie Rose, who flew over from America, and she has a channel, Jackson Rose. The reason why we arranged to meet up in Edinburgh at that time, it's because there was uh, a new fiber festival organized called the Woolly Good Gathering. And I know that the festival was really just an excuse, but Jackie uh, contacted me earlier this year. And mind you, at that time, I didn't really meet either one of them in person. We were just friends online. Amy and Jackie have already met, I believe, last year. And, but I, I never really met them in real life. So Jackie contacted me earlier this year and she said that, that she's going to Edinburgh for the festival and if I wanna, if by any chance I would like to join. And then I was thinking, you know, like I wasn't planning to go, but then, you know, she put this seed in my mind and I was thinking about it, thinking about it and, you know, not for that long. It took me a few weeks to organize my dates and uh, and I just booked the ticket and I let them know straight straight away I sent them my um, my booking I didn't even tell them that I was planning to come I just told Jackie I will think about it and I didn't say uh, anything to Amy and I just sent them uh, my my booking uh, that I'm coming for five days and I know that even though the Fiber Festival was happening at that time, and that was predominantly the reason why we were meeting at that specific time. But to tell you the truth, the, the festival was just really an excuse to get together because I really wanted to, to meet those two women in, in person. So the time came and I arrived in Edinburgh middle of the night. It was uh, around 1.30 in the morning, but because Amy didn't want me to hang around at the airport by myself at that time, her and her husband, they rented a car and they came to pick me up uh, from the airport. Good morning, Edinburgh. How pretty is that? The weather is actually really nice. Still a bit cold, but nice. I arrived uh, late last night and I just passed out uh, in bed. I didn't even have a shower. I had a shower this morning. But let me quickly show you the room. It's a beautiful room, really big. And the bathroom is big. This is definitely enough for two people. And all the clothes as well. But I'm very happy with the hotel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk uh, towards Amy's house. It's about 15 minute walk and Jackie is there. So I'm going to meet Jackie in person for the first time and uh, then we're going to go for lunch. Because we had one day free before the festival. I had one day free in between uh, my arrival and the festival. I went that morning to Amy's house and I met Jackie as well. And then we went uh, for a walk and we went for lunch uh, to this beautiful, I think it's uh, the only or the tallest, I'm not sure, uh, vertical distillery. And uh, we had beautiful lunch there. And we just uh, spent the day together, which was really nice to kind of get to know each other. But it didn't feel like getting to know each other. Once again, it just felt like we knew each other for ages. The same I felt with the, with the women that I met up in uh, Barcelona when we went in, um, in the fall last year. The next day was uh, the first day of the festival of the Woolly Good Gathering. And the festival was really nice. Uh, I don't really have a lot of experiences about from fiber festivals. I only went to Barcelona and it's in the fall and uh, this is my second one. So 
but it was organized very nicely. I think it was an old school where the venue where well where they held the, the festival, and it was very nicely organized. Uh, the first day was quite cold, at least for me coming from Cyprus, but the weather was nice but cold. Um, it was how to say everything just flew smoothly. I mean, they didn't. It was not too crowded. It was just enough people. I think there was only one room where there was like a bit more people to, for my taste. But in general, it was just very well spaced out and the people were circulating and just the right amount of uh, vendors, not that many of them, but nice selected uh, vendors. I met some of you guys and uh, that, was, that was a treat for me because this is the first time that I have met some of the people that, uh, that watch my channel. So it was really special and, um, and it actually meant a lot to me that uh, you guys came and said hi. And even uh, one of the, the ladies, Steph, she, um, I was packing my backpack because I had a backpack with me. And uh, I had uh, I was putting some of Amy's stuff in my backpack because I didn't want her to carry the bag the, the bags. And this lady, Steph, she approached me and she goes, "Do you have any more space in your backpack?" And I said, "Yeah." I didn't even look at her at the moment, and I was just packing. I was like, "Yeah, actually, I don't I don't think so." And she pulled out this uh, skein of uh, hand-spun yarn that she spun. And she says, because I would like to give you this because I really like your channel. And I, I saw that and it just it caught, caught me off guard that uh, I'm used to giving presents. I'm not used to receiving presents. So Steph, thank you very much. It, it really meant a lot to me and I'm probably going to include it in one of my blankets. Just really so when I talk about it, so I have some footage to follow along. Can I have you in it as well as the as the producer? <laughs> After the festival, after the second day of the festival, because we wanted to kind of uh, get some breathing space from the crowds, and so Frank, Amy's husband, and Amy, they rented a car, and Frank drove us about one hour, one and a half hours outside of Edinburgh, Edinburgh to see the new Lanark Mill and the uh, waterfalls there. It's such a beautiful area. I mean, even the road on the way there, even though it was very wind winding, but the, just the scenery, it was just stunning. And we, had, we were very lucky with the weather on that day. So we visited that, uh, that area there. We went for a hike, we visited the mill. I didn't buy anything uh, on that day, but it was just the perfect kind of, um, time after the festival to have that one day of nature and, uh, and very few people around. So where are we? Oh, New, La New Lanark. Okay, and this is where there is a wool mill as well. There's a woolen mill and there's a yarn shop. A yarn shop, of <laughs> there's course. There's a cafe. <laughs> and then there's a lovely walk. We follow the walkway around and get to some beautiful waterfall.
Hello, beautiful ladies. <laughs> it's amazing. Are those the cherry blossoms, yeah? Yeah, these now, are the cherry blossoms. Maybe the white blossoms are fragrant? It's fragrant right here. Mm. There's no denying. So, do you actually get Thank cherries? You. No. Why? Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe it's just not the right weather for them. And on the last day of May, which was my last day in Edinburgh, we went to Boltane Festival, which is pagan festival of fire, which resembles the beginning of the summer. But before we went and met up with everybody, Amy took us to one of her favorite places, which is Whiskey Society. And it is a members club only that she's a member of, where we had beautiful dinner and Jackie and I had our first whiskeys. Mm -hmm. What's that on top, these little bits? It looks like... Thank you. I don't know. It looks like crisps to me. And Amy's butternut squash. <laughs> and our whiskies. Well, here is mine. There is Amy's. <laughs> and Jackie's, where's your whiskey? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Amy, maybe you can teach them how to have a sip of whiskey. Because okay. some people don't know. Okay, so we're going to... Have a wee sniff, see what we can smell, what notes we can pick up, mm. and then we're going to have a little sip, and then we're going to hold the sip in our mouth for a minute, or not for a minute, for a second or two. And then we're going to swallow, and we're going to feel the heat moving down our throat, and we're going to pick up what scents we're, we're um, receiving from the whiskey now. So you get the whole experience. It's delicious. <laughs> I want to show you the things that I got in Edinburgh and this time I didn't overbuy but everything that I got was really special. So on the first day of the festival of the Woolly Good Gathering, as soon as we walked in I came across one booth that was selling uh, spinning bats, fiber bats uh, for spinning and I just couldn't help myself. And I got attracted to some colors that are not necessarily my colors but I got these two bats and they're a bit larger. I think they're about 160 grams each. So they're in these kind of purpley shades, which I don't normally use. I'm more of a neutral kind of person. But I really, really liked, I mean, when I saw them, I just fell in love. It's a combination of fibers. I don't have my glasses now, so I can't really tell you exactly what's uh, inside but this is one of them and the other one it um, I, I was thinking to kind of continue it's not the same but it also has this per oh I have fiber on my face now uh, it also has this purple fiber as well but it uh, changes to different shades so I was thinking I could do maybe kind of a transition uh, or a fade of something so it starts with these purple purple shades like in the previous bat and then it goes to all these colors 
and I was waiting, waiting to record this so I can show it to you before I start spinning it. And it was, uh, it was a difficult task to contain myself, not, not to start working on it. But I wanted to show them to you how, how they look like this before I start spinning. And then later on, you're going to be able to, to see the progress in future videos of how the actual yarn turns out. I don't know if I'm going to leave them as singles or ply them. Um, I never really do color management. But anyway, I'm really, really looking forward to start working with this. That's my cat crying. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to let him out. Okay, we're back. The second thing I got, it was also on the first day. Let me just try to get them out of this bag where I have everything. Was three skeins of Shetland wool from... Um, Lammermule uh, mill, or uh, it says Lammermule wool. And this is, I think I included the footage of their booth uh, when I was showing the footage of uh, a bit of footage from the festival. But this is the yarn. And I got three skeins of that fingering, natural Shetland color. But what, the, what they do is because they spin the wool from their own flock and basically you never really know, I mean you can, the, the colors cannot be repeated. What is spun that year from their flock, that's what's spun and then next year is probably going to be different. So this is four ply, however it does feel a bit thicker um, than, than four ply. And you can feel the natural quality of it. It's undyed, spun from their own flock, sheared, so very, very kind of kept in-house. I'm very happy with, uh, with this yarn. That was the first day. The second day of the festival, I got... Um, I got attracted to this uh, Zakami yarns and they had, they had lots of uh, dyed, dyed yarns as well, but I didn't go for those. They had a section of undyed yarn and this is, I got three skeins of fingering and this is uh, Baby Llama, I think it's Baby Llama. Yes, Baby Llama, 100%, naturally, grey uh, Baby Llama, 400 meters per 100 grams. So again, natural shade. But if you see, this is fingering, and this is fingering as well. So look at the difference in the thickness and the bounciness of the wool. So I definitely think that the baby llama is going to be uh, more of a drapey like alpaca, but I never, never knitted with just llama. I usually incorporate it into my spinning when I blend different bats, and I usually incorporate llama as well, but I never knitted with uh, just llama. So that's probably going to be one of my, my raglan jumpers because I think it's going to look beautiful as a drapey as a drapey fabric. And that was that from the festival. But one, uh, one of the other days, we went to Ginger Twist Studio, the yarn shop. They had a cocktail party and uh, they had a very nice selection of yarn. But what I decided to buy is yarn that I actually tried before and that I used before, which is Blueface Lester, uh, from uh, West Yorkshire Spinners in this brown color. And I already worked with this before. I think this is DK. Yes, DK. And I really, really liked the yarn when I did work with it. So, because I knew that I liked it and it was there, so I figured, you know what, I might as well buy another five skeins because I know I'm going to use it rather than order and pay shipping the way that I usually do when I order from UK. So th these are the five skeins of the West Yorkshire Spinners BFL, again, a natural shade, in natural color. So that's that as far as yarn is concerned. 
I did buy, uh, Amy took us uh, to, uh, we went charity shopping for the first time and I did buy a few things there as well. And she also took us to, took me to one uh, vintage shop where I bought a vintage wool skirt, which I'm not going to try now. It's really hot. And, uh, but uh, later on, when I wear it uh, in one of the episodes, you're going to see it. And, uh, and then I'm going to tell you that it's actually from the Edinburgh trip. This is the skein that I got from Steph that I told you from the ladies that uh, from the lady that asked me if uh, if I have any more space in my backpack. She spun it and it's Shetland 100% uh, chain ply natural black. July 2023 she spun it. I don't know if she spun it in July 2023 or is it the wool from July 2023, but uh, either way, so this is going to go in one of my blankets. And the last thing that I got was a very special gift from Jackie. She got me this uh, handmade notebook. She got both for Amy and I. And I saw Amy talking about it uh, in detail in one of her episodes, probably in her latest episode. But this is a handmade, handmade notebook. And the cover is hand uh, embroidered as well. Ooh. So it lies flat. And at the, at the beginning, she wrote, um, she wrote me, uh, how do you call that? Inscription? No, the, um, the note she wrote me in the beginning, but I'm not going to read that to you. That is for me. So this is a very special, as I said, everything is special that I got, but this is something also that I'm going to, like this cane, I'm going to treasure and be very careful where I use it for and what I use it for. At the moment, it's still staying in this, uh, in this linen bag, so I protect it from dust. So that's everything that I got. Um, at the, when, we, when we met up, Jackie asked, uh, Jackie asked us, she said, what would you like to, to get from this trip that we are here? And the first thing that came to my mind is I said, I want to have fun. Now, authenticity and being true and real was not negotiable for me. And it's just something that I don't negotiate with. It means that if I, if I can't get real, then I don't bother. And I did get real. I did get real meaning from those two women. It was, it felt very, how to say, it's a very special experience when you can just be with people around you, that you're not afraid whether you're gonna give them too much of yourself or you just show up and you're just you without censoring yourself. And that's exactly how it was with uh, Amy and Jackie. So I spent five days of just being, of just being me and enjoying each other's company. But as far as that, uh, that uh, intention that I had for having fun, that we definitely did as well. People knew her by her will To make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone Cause she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming of the day, butterflies survived the wheel Even though she could knock down and never showed
<laughs> had lunch. And so this is now we're still having lunch. Oh, that's right. Hey, I will sing down and you this, take this your time. Your yeah, but Amy's feeding me the peppers. And <laughs> now you're warm now, aren't you? Yes, I was freezing my ass up for you. Can I say that? Yes, you can. Of course, around me. Um, may I ask you to do something very terrible? But you have the most amazing jacket on and sweater. But I mean, I oh, she's gonna do that. Oh, look at this. Oh, so will you take off your clothes for me? <laughs> and that was easy to get her to do. I'm just saying, Mario. You trained me well. <laughs> Okay, but show your jacket and then your sweater. Oh, it's so good. It's pretty old. Oh, I love it. I love it. My, yes. my husband bought this for me. And it was a, a while ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. No, I don't know. I don't more than All right, I'll make the music. Old. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka. <laughs> okay, but here's your sweater. Oh, it's so... This is the latest one that... I just finished before Edinburgh. Yeah? It's beautiful. I'm sorry, I can't reach your head. No, you don't need to reach my head. This is the important part. Yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. And you were saying to us, you just had some black yarn. Well, yeah, this is the same uh, the same yarn. It's drop sky. So I had sweater quantity of this page. And oh, this I is had, your pattern? The, the, um, it's the in and out raglan, mm -hmm. yeah. So, which is a very basic raglan jumper. And then I decided, like, Kind of add interest and use that half ball of uh, the black one and just uh, make color work. It's a strength color work, and then with the leftover yarn, I love just it. Did some random striping, and I really like how it I, came out. It looks beautiful. Yeah. It, <clears throat> will you come down here and tell our uh, the viewers where we're having lunch too? Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> just right after the striping. <laughs> I mean, I figure you might as well. You've done it all. <laughs> Well, the pub is called the Royal Dick. <laughs> Apparently, there is another place which is called the New Royal Dick. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I mean, oh, that's... maybe we'll go to both of them. <laughs> okay, well, your sweater is beautiful. Well, thank you. Yes, and, and oh, thank you. She put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue